Uh, what are we even doing here? Italian sardines. Let's go. Sardine polistrini di anzio, picante al olio di oliva. Specialty of the house. Product of Italy. So Matt over at International Loft was nice enough to send me a gamut of these polistrinis. And um, I don't know, like uh, now I'm finally giving them the spotlight, right? You know, I'm not gonna go through all of them. We've had like, uh, we've had, oh, do we have the tomato con? Yeah, we had spicy tomato on a couple weeks ago. And uh, today we're just gonna try the spicy olive oil ones, which I think for somebody like myself, that's the flagship can. This is the the one that you want to eat over the sink. It's got everything you need. It's got the deans, it's got the oil, it's got the spice, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, I'm eating it on my great old Star Trek, the motion picture, uh, what do we got, TV tray. Could you look any more, Vulcan? No, no. Ramon Pena, oh my God. Ramon, are you all right? Uh, you know, he's uh, he's here to make sure we're following the rules. This is an officially sanctioned entry of the canned fish files. What do you say let's dig in, huh? Hmm. Look at these lovely tins. They've got the little cock here. Huh? Huh? There's some information back here. Sardines, pepperoncino, olive oil, normal stuff. Oh yeah, we got the Thai chopsticks too. Cowabunga. Oh, look at them in there. First thing we notice is foil-like skin. Love that, love that. Already kind of falling apart. That's okay. Beautiful. I mean, not like beautiful, beautiful, like, oh, what a, what a, you know, a, a fish, you know, captured perfectly. No, but as a food stuff, beautiful. Great tasting meat. A heat that kind of dances on my tongue. gonna come apart not so easy you know it comes apart the way it wants to come apart nice little tail tail on mmm 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 mm. This is the kind of heat that I like. This is the kind of spice I like. It's just enough to be entertaining. Not enough to where I'm playing any like um, macho games with myself. Here's a pretty one. Look at the, oh. the pretty side of this guy. Yeah, yeah. the light. Play on him a little bit. I would say the one thing that you kind of put against them is these guys are not packed like sardines. They're pretty loose in their little can here. I mean, I think this is a great size, pilchard, you know? I think this is a really lovely sized fish. It's not like one of our little like uh, sardinias, and it's not like one of these big honking boys you got in the Bellas, you know? I don't know, it doesn't bug me. Like I only need like five, like I only need as many as I got. And honestly, by weight, like maybe, maybe this is a normal amount, but you don't get the sense that they're just like stuffed in there. And I know that's part of the appeal for some people is they want to take the lid off the can and then just jackpot, you know, a bonanza of fishes down there. I'm gonna eat this little pepper. What a tasty little pepper. And I think that pepper is given all his spice. He's given it all to the oil. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Mm. 
I also want to mention um, International Loft there. I put the website up there, right? You can see it. Um, they uh, they got a lot of like a, Italian gourmet items. So if you got a shopping list that really looks like a lot of pastas and Italian this and that or whatever, plus some fishes, yeah, yeah, check them out. Mm, I don't know if I'm really hungry or these guys really spark my appetite, but golly, I kind of wish there was one or two more in there. That's okay. That's okay. We're fine with it. And you know who else is fine with it? Spock. You know, Spock says it would be illogical to put too many sardines into the can, right? Yeah, highly illogical. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. You know what else would be illogical, Spock? Your butt. <laughs> Your butt is illogical. <laughs> yeah, Spock. You got an illogical butt. <laughs>